Hello and welcome back to another card of the week and this week we're going to be taking a look at Grand Arbiter Augustine IV. Grand Arbiter Augustine IV is a legendary creature, human advisor with the mana cost of two, a white and a blue. His card text reads, white spells you cast cost one less to cast, blue spells you cast cost one less to cast, and spells your opponents cast cost one less to cast. His flavor text is, The Arbiter is a conduit of justice, a will so disciplined that it disperses justice without ego or remorse, and he is generally seen with the Azorius watermark, with a power and toughness of 2-3. He has appeared in the sets Modern Masters and Dissension. Within his lore, Augustine IV theoretically held the most powerful position in Ravnica as the Grand Arbiter of the Azorius Senate, the technical ruling body of the plane. As Grand Arbiter, he presided over the most important legal cases in Ravnica, and when he was not doing that, he would often drift between courtroom to courtroom dealing with less pressing disputes, with his most distinguishing characteristic being his short but eloquent speech, which was not usually in line with Azorian verbosity. He is a major player in the first Ravnica storyline, with he and his soul sworn jury being involved in many dark acts in an attempt to reconstruct Ravnica into a plane of pure order and restrictive law. And if you would like to know more about this, feel free to pick up the books themselves. They're a good read. I don't want to spoil too much in these sections, so I'll see you in the next one. By his base abilities, Augustine lends himself heavily to the control style of play, which can be further extended into three categories. The first of which is counter spells. So as always, you have the basic spell counter spell, but this can be also amplified by things like mana tithe, force of will, pact of negation, disruption, anything along those lines. The second comes with board control, and this just extends beyond basic wrath of God or other removal effects like so it's the plowshares. It can also be things like Aura of Silence and Dovin Hand of Control, which further increase your ability to disrupt your opponent's uh, tempo and play. And finally, you also have cards like Barrel, Chief of Compliance, and Cloud Key, which can further reduce the cost of your spells and other win conditions. And with that, we bring to close the card of the week for June 16th. Yes, that is the date indeed. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, either way, it helps the channel and it helps me grow personally. And as always, I hope your top always pops.